Today's topic is the selection and use of delayed surface marker buoys for technical diving. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. DSMBs are an essential piece of gear for technical diving. Here are four common uses of DSMBs in technical diving. Perhaps the most common use of DSMBs is to provide a surface marker while technical divers are conducting decompression stops. This is particularly important during drift decos as the divers may actually drift a considerable distance from a wreck. The DSMB will allow the surface vessel to follow the divers at a safe distance during the decompression stops. The line and reel or finger spool attached to the DSMB can also be used as a visual reference for divers during deco stops. DSMBs can also be used to secure gear or send gear to the surface. This is an image of Achmed Schlofel from Interspace Explorers sending a stage tank to the surface for collection. Lastly, some technical diving agencies approve of the use of DSMBs for emergency buoyancy in the event of bladder failure. This image is from a YouTube video by Dark Horizon Diving illustrating the use of a DSMB to achieve neutral buoyancy in the event of bladder failure. For technical diving, there are many DSMB design considerations. The first design consideration for DSMBs is the color. So normally what uh, occurs is that there is a local protocol uh, for the deployment of the DSMB, the different colors. Uh, under normal circumstances, uh, the orange or reddish type DSMB is the one that is deployed normally uh, to indicate uh, a position of a diver uh, or that the diver is below the water. Uh, the yellow uh, can also be designated for specific things and uh, there are some locales where it's normal to have a yellow DSMB. In certain situations, there is a particular deployment color sequence that will denote whether or not there is any difficulty going underwater. And in some locations, uh, if you deploy a red DSMB and then a, another yellow DSMB within a short period of time in close proximity, it indicates that there is some sort of serious uh, situation uh, going on underneath the water. A second design consideration is the size of the DSMB. So, uh, both large and small DSMBs uh, have their advantages. Uh, the one on your left is a 6 foot DSMB and the one on the right is a 48 inch DSMB. Uh, the DSMB on the left is also uh, much wider and the DSMB on the, le uh, on the right side is also much narrower. So under normal circumstances, since the purpose of the DSMB is to be seen, uh, you would generally want to use a larger DSMB, but under certain conditions uh, in which you have high current and uh, you need to uh, uh, bring or drag the DSMB behind you, uh, it could be more advantageous to use a smaller DSMB, which has less drag. This is an example of a closed end uh, DSMB. Uh, you can see that uh, it is uh, heat sealed uh, throughout the bottom. And uh, the way that this particular type of uh, uh, DSMB is inflated is through the inflation nozzle. Uh, this particular one has the ability to be either inflated uh, orally by your mouth by pressing um, the fitting down and blowing air into it or uh, it can also be inflated uh, using a low pressure inflator hose. Uh, this DSMB also has a small overpressure valve here uh, in the event that um, uh, the pressure becomes too inflated uh, on the ascent. This is an open bottom DSMB and uh, it has uh, that name due to the open bottom here and um, what you do is you uh, introduce air uh, through the bottom or gas through the bottom in order to inflate the DSMB. 
uh, more modern implementations of this type of uh, VSMB have a duct bill, and you can see the outline here, some kind of one-way valve to prevent the air from accidentally spilling out once the DSMB uh, is on the surface. This style of DSMB can be inflated a number of ways. Uh, one way that it can be inflated is by putting a regulator, like an alternate air source, uh, underneath the bottom here uh, and uh, pressing the purge button and having air go in. Uh, these types of uh, more modern DSMBs actually have a duct bill or some sort of one-way valve to prevent air from coming out once it goes in. Another way that this type can be inflated is by putting uh, your exhaust port of your regulator once it's in your mouth uh, and exhaling it can be filled that way. The DSMB can also be inflated orally using your mouth by pressing down this um, fitting here and uh, blowing air uh, into it with your mouth and this fitting also allows the use of a low pressure inflator hose to inflate the DSMB and again on this type we have an overpressure valve uh, which is used to release the air to uh, recover it or to um, relieve excess pressure on the ascent for really serious technical diving, we recommend one large red DSMB for general purpose use, one large yellow DSMB for emergencies, one small red DSMB for situations where you must swim against the current. All of the DSMBs should have inflator tubes. They should also all have overpressure valves and they should have either a closed bottom or a duckbill opening. As far as DSMB deployment is concerned, there are many, many instructional videos available on YouTube and the like. These videos cover a wide variety of deployment techniques. We will be releasing a video in the near future on what we call advanced DSMB deployment techniques. This video will cover techniques which we have not seen in any of the other instructional videos. This is Chris with DiveZone Scuba. Thanks for watching.